Here we are then in one of the fastest growing cities in the United States, the fabulous Austin in the great state of Texas. The circuit itself 14 miles southeast of the city center and home to the US Grand Prix since 2012. The latest in a long list of iconic tracks to have that honor. We have 10 turns to the left and 10 to the right here at the fantastic Circuit of the Americas, overtaking opportunities into turn one and 12 at this anti-clockwise 3.6 mile track and we should see average lap speeds of around 126 miles per hour. Anthony Davidson is alongside me as usual for the race today. I want to ask you about Nobuharu Matsushita. That was a great win in the last race. Can they keep that momentum going this weekend? It's always nice to come into a Grand Prix weekend on a high, but your expectations are based much more on your practice and qualifying runs. So it's the momentum from those sessions that they'll be hoping to carry into the race today. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position and Max Verstappen lines up alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Vettel, Nobuharu Matsushita and Albon, Gasly, Ricardo, Leclerc and the owner driver, Ocon, Perez, Daniel Kvyat and Sainz, Stroll, Norris, Kevin Magnussen and Nick de Vries. Grosjean, Giovinazzi, Russell, and Nicholas Latifi. Now, it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. So the celebrations begin, and well earned they are indeed. It may have looked simple at times, but as any racing driver will tell you, competing at this level, at the very top, is anything but simple. There's no catching them now then. We have a new World Drivers Champion. A truly magnificent drive and a great performance from the entire team to secure the win here in Austin. Tell me, Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win? Well, this was a real team victory. They put together a solid strategy today that appeared well suited to the conditions out on track. The driver did everything that was expected of them in the moment to really execute the team's plan to perfection. A shining example of how F1 really is a team sport. 
After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team. And they certainly deserve it. Let's focus on the driver of the day. Anthony Davidson, who do you pick? I'm going to give it to the owner driver today. There was a lot going on all down the field, but they were the only one who I really felt maximized their potential. Let's move on to the constructors. The current leaders continue to extend their lead at the top. And with that, we wrap up another weekend of motorsport. But with more races lined up, be sure to join us when we come back with more Formula One. First of all, congratulations, you must be thrilled. It's safe to say you're smashing everyone's expectations, isn't it? You had a few bumps and scrapes today. Who would you say is at fault? Appreciate your time. Our new parts have been completed without issue. They'll be on the car ready for the next race weekend. 